the webinar is about um, what's new in CIA uh, 21.1 and relation with the with the BIM links. So uh, today we will be talking about uh, SAF, about the IDEA Statica connection and uh, about uh, BIM Cloud update function, which uh, cooperates with uh, with the uh, Archicad, Archicad uh, from Architect Software from Graphisoft. Uh, let me uh, briefly introduce myself. Uh, my name is uh, Stepan Chunka and, and I am product owner in SIA Engineer. Uh, I am responsible for the auto converter web application and uh, also the BIM links in SIA uh, Engineer and SAF initiative integrated in SIA Engineer. Uh, webinar is recorded uh, and uh, will be available on the websites and uh, please free, feel free to ask uh, questions in a chat and I will after the after the webinar I will uh, try to uh, answer to all, all your questions and uh, yeah so that's basically that's basically it uh, and uh, let's start with the uh, with the webinar. So, as I have mentioned, today will uh, today's webinar is about uh, the BIM, and uh, we will start. Uh, there are three topics: uh, SAF 2.0 in in a uh, CI Engineer 21.1, IDEA uh, connection, and uh, or IDEA link. Uh, so there is the connection, IDEA connection, and IDEA IDEA member check. And uh, last but not least, uh, the BIM cloud. So uh, let's go. Uh, so let's start with the uh, with the uh, stuff. I have uh, prepared a brief presentation, and but uh, soon we will get into the CIA engineer and the the other applications that we will be using uh, today. Uh, so uh, what's new in a in a stuff? Uh, in a stuff. Uh, we have uh, now full support uh, of uh, the objects. Uh, on version SAF 2.0, it means there are three main or, or some some new objects. Uh, let's go in for them one by one. Uh, the first uh, the first object is a structure curve action thermal. Uh, this of the structure curve action thermal is a SAF document SAF specification name in CI engineer is well known as a thermal load on a, on one D. Now it can be uh, written to SAF from CI, so it can be exported, imported, and uh, uh, yeah. Uh, next object is a structure surface action distribution. Again, the SAF terminology name in CI Engineer is uh, well known as a, as a load panel. So the load panels now can be imported and exported to SAF from CI Engineer. And uh, next new object is uh, Rail Connects Rigid Cross, uh, which is a crosslink in uh, CI Engineer. Also can be imported, exported to SAF version 2.0 uh, from uh, CI Engineer 21. One. So it was uh, the new objects available in CI Engineer with the SAF exchanges, and uh, there are also some updates uh, in objects. So uh, the objects uh, now are in uh, uh, on version 2.0 as well. So uh, main uh, there are three objects. So let's start with the two: is the structure of moment, a structure of action in a SAF terminology. Uh, in CI Engineer, it's a simple uh, line, line load and uh, line uh, moment, and uh, or linear load and linear moment, and uh, these these objects now can be applied on uh, subregion and opening edges, which was not possible. Let's say it was possible in CIA, but it was, it was not possible to export them out from CIA with the SAF exchange applications. So now it's possible. Uh, we will uh, take a look at it in, a, in our example. Uh, next uh, updates uh, or next updates uh, are related to structure surface action and structure edge connection. Structure surface action again, sub terminology. It's a surface load in a 
CI engineer uh, now can be applied on the load panels, which is new objects. So it's uh, clear that uh, we can use in SAF uh, co cooperation between the surface loads and the load panels and uh, structure edge connection. Uh, it's uh, simply uh, line support on 2D edge as similar to the uh, uh, line moment and uh, lin or linear moment and uh, linear load now it can be applied on the subregion and opening edges so we can define supports there as well so uh, yeah that's uh, that's it about uh, updates about in you know, of uh, soft objects in a CI engineer so let me now uh, to uh, jump into the CI engineer and uh, I have there some example structure, some hole with uh, with a steel hole with uh, concrete uh, concrete block house inside, and uh, on the structure there are uh, the new objects that we uh, talk about. Uh, for example, at the roof I can see the load panel and the surface load applied on it. Uh, if I go to the other load cases, and I will take a look, for example, on load case six, load case six. I can see on the front uh, front frame, I have applied thermal loads. I have there the thermal load uh, with the with the let's select this one. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, I have there the thermal load uh, with the uh, linear distribution uh, and the top or on the top beam I have a thermal load with the uh, with the uh, I want to take a look on a thermal load with the constant distribution. Uh, all this data uh, basically can be exported and imported to SAF. Uh, if I take a look uh, for a, another load case which is load case uh, number five I can see uh, maybe I will turn on turn off the volumes and I can see I have applied on the opening and subregion edges the the line loads and the line moments also this object can be now exported to SAF and last but not least I will turn on the additional data and I have the two cross links on my structure one is here and uh, in a, on a crossing of the of the braces. If I take a look on the properties of the crosslink, this one is a coupler with a, some flexible flexible behavior for the member one in a, in a displacement. The second one is a default one. I think it's a fixed yeah, it's a fixed uh, connection for the for the crosslink. So uh, also I have uh, supports on my structure, but it's nothing new so now we can export uh, the structure to the SAF file and uh, let's take a brief look how the export looks like so I have the example I want to export SAF version 2.0 which is fully supported at the moment uh, there is also available in SEN 21.1 version SAF of 2.1 uh, SAF 2.1 is an next release uh, of uh, SAF uh, basically, it's the same as uh, SAF version 2.0. Uh, there is uh, one extra object. It's, this is the result on a 1D, and soon it will be published on a SAF.guide. Uh, so you can you can take a look how the specification uh, looks like. Uh, so I want to export uh, the SAF 2.0. Let's do the export. Uh, I will rename it. So and uh, export is being done. SAF file will be automatically opened. Uh, every time I'm working with the SAF files, uh, it's useful to take a look in the info file. If I have some issues with my with my uh, with my export, I will find it in a in a info file usually. So uh, here is uh, my SAF and uh, let's go briefly through the through the objects. So uh, I can start with the cross links. It's uh, I can see the object is here. Uh, the 
object structure can be found there. I can see that uh, crosslink uh, CL2 has some custom behavior and has flexible uh, displacement of uh, member one. So it's in it's uh, as was uh, modeled in CI engineer. Second one is uh, fixed uh, for the uh, crosslinks. Uh, they are of the, they are of quite often used uh, the couplers with the nonlinear linear, linear behavior for scaffolding, for example. So, but this uh, this ability to export we don't have in uh, in uh, SAF 2.0. So in this case, you want to uh, use SAF with uh, this type of. Uh, uh, Cross links, uh, then uh, check. Please check out the info during the export to see how uh, the the cross link was exported. It will be set for it for, for for the fixed one. So in a, in a application we want to then use self, you need to adjust these properties in these cases. Uh, other other uh, new another new object is. Um, yeah, we can take a look uh, on a structure curve action, for example, it is a line load. And uh, here I can see that uh, the line load can be applied on opening and subregion edge. This, it was this one that we, we was looking uh, a few minutes uh, back in a, in a CIA engineer. And uh, we have the, the curve action thermal the name beam this, uh, or here we can see that it is a linear and the constant distribution of temperatures across the cross section and the other data data, data used uh, then we have uh, applicability of structure surface action on uh, load panels as we can see here uh, the reference of to the load panel is done via column to member to the member distribution and uh, here is the definition of the load panel itself. The properties are quite the same, uh, quite the same to the properties uh, that can be set in a CI engineer. So this is uh, basically this is basically it about uh, about soft objects. So. Uh, what else is uh, new about SAF? I will close the dialog and uh, let me go back uh, to the presentation. I will continue from uh, the last slide. And uh, there is a, it's, a, it's a maybe more than more or less the remark, uh, not something new. I just want to, to I'll let you know that the uh, SAF repository itself is stored on GitHub and it's publicly available. So feel free on this site to join the uh, discussions or report the issues that you find in the documentation and uh, also propose uh, new attributes and objects. Feel free to do that. Uh, it's a, it's an open format. So uh, That's it. And the uh, second remark is about where to find the documentation or where to view. It's uh, available on stuff.guide. Uh, where is uh, the specification available? So uh, also feel free to check out this, this website. On this website will be soon published also the newly released documentation for version 2.1. And uh, yeah. Uh, so let's go to the second part of uh, of this uh, of this webinar, and uh, it's uh, it's related to the Idea Statica link, the newly introduced one in uh, in CIA Engineer twenty one point one. Uh, the newly newly uh, introduced link uh, cooperates with Idea Statica chatbot, which is uh, the management app for the let's say before we, we use as a users the dedicated application for connections or for the member checks and so on uh, the let me briefly talk about what's, what's behind uh, behind that connection is a third party connector which is uh, which is uh, uh, which core is basically the sub file so uh, 
and uh, the third party connector it's a kind of uh, of uh, a connection with CI engineer that can you use in the future as well with your own applications so now we are work, working on a documentation of how, how use this third party connector which can uh, read sub files write sub files with to uh, from uh, from from another app and into and communicate with the CI engineer uh, the new connection yeah it's uh, done with the checkbot app as I mentioned and allows to design and check the connections and the steel members uh, the what's uh, the main, main main improvement is in that that uh, selection for the connections is done simply by selection in CI engineer scene and then uh, the dedicated application is opened via checkbot management of the loads that I want to have uh, if for check on my connection I can do in a, in a checkbot itself so uh, let's take a look on that uh, I will go back uh, to the CI engineer I have there my example uh, again and uh, now uh, where to find the idea connection command I have uh, calculated the structure I have there several uh, load cases and also I have defined uh, some combination now I want to check I have there two code dependence one uh, linear ultimate combination and one envelope ultimate combination uh, so uh, Let's do that. Uh, I can use the spotlight in CI engineer to find the command. It's this one, idea statica. Uh, it uh, can be found also in uh, external tools under, under idea statica. And uh, I will uh, run the command. When I uh, run the command, uh, the idea statica uh, code check checkbot is called I have it open here before I have uh, at the first run I need to start uh, set a new project I have already done it so I have a project ready so I am directly in a checkbot now uh, the idea statica projects uh, for the connections and for the members are stored next to the CI or the ESA file of CI engineer so as long as they are next to each other they are connected and they know about it uh, if I remove or copy the one of the folders idea or the ESA file then uh, the connection it lost and uh, the the projects behave independently uh, what we have here in a, in a checkbot uh, we have options to import connections and the members based on the selections in a CI engineer scene. Uh, then we can control the, the 3D scene of a checkbot. We can open, reset uh, our connections or we can delete one as well. Uh, in structural model, uh, we can use this for this tool for the management of the classes that we are taking into the into the checks of our connections so for example I can create my own class I can say it's this is my own class and uh, I can input one of the combination inside uh, you can see that one combination one code combination is missing it's by it's uh, because of that that um, idea uh, do not have uh, such a combinator as CI engineer so in case uh, you want to uh, import the the code dependent uh, combinations you need to it's necessary to uh, in CI engineer explode them to the envelopes and then take uh, the envelopes itself into the checks of uh, of the connections or the on the members as well so I have uh, created my own class I can save this one I have already imported some of the connections as you can see also I have imported uh, one member and uh, yeah uh, so how how to how to do that uh, it's a uh, simple 
there are uh, and some and other settings, but it's not important at the moment. So uh, how to do that? I can simply take a look in a, in a 3D scene of CI Engineer. I will just check which connection I have already there. It's 193. It's uh, 193. So I'm taking this look. Okay, so let's uh, import this uh, connection. Okay, there's something uh, wrong in this case, uh, but it's a, uh, so sorry for that. Um, it simply work based on the selection. Maybe I have something, I have some select something uh, which I did not want. Okay, so maybe let's try. Okay. Yeah, so I have probably selected something that Ideastatica can't read because uh, there was also the concrete part of structure. So uh, if I make a correct selection only the steel members, I was able to import the, the connection. Uh, I have imported actually uh, this uh, connection and now I can select uh, the result class I want to have a check for. And if I change the result class, I need to upload, update the loads, and then I can op op open the dedicated application of uh, Idea Statica. This one opens the Idea Statica connections. Uh, in case I do the connection design, then I can see the connection, my, my design connection in here. And uh, uh, I can also run the calculation directly from the checkbot. Uh, which is uh, good in case I will change, for example, the load cases or I will add, add new loads to my combination. So I, I don't need to open every and other corrections and I can calculate uh, directly from the, from the checkbot. Uh, the members, uh, they are imported via this button. So uh, let's do that. I will select the member that I want to have in a, in a member connection or, the, or in a member check. And uh, I will import it in a, in a checkbot. Together with uh, this object, they are also imported the neighbors of, uh, of it. As you can see, this both connection was imported together with the member. That's because of uh, for the advanced analysis in uh, uh, IDEA, IDEA member, there is a need to define these two connections. So uh, there is a known stiffness and then we can evaluate and check the member itself. The load selection is uh, the same as, as for connections. And then I can open the dedicated uh, IDEA Statica member application. So. It's, it's, this is the live connection with uh, Idea Statica. Uh, as we can see, the selection is quite easy in a 3D scene. Uh, we have a support now for member member check, and uh, we have uh, we are now having support for the checkbot application for Idea, where the management of the connections and members can be can be done. Uh, so that's basically it. Uh, there are also some limitation of the connection because on behind of that connection runs sub files. We are limited of we are limited uh, with that we support in sub. So for example, at the moment we are not able to export to IDEA the nonlinear combination, but we are working on it. And uh, yeah, so we are limited to what sub can handle now, but we are working on improvements and to provide uh, more and more. Uh, capabilities for that for that connection so uh, this is uh, this is it to the what's new with the idea connection and uh, let's go 
let's go uh, to the BIM Cloud update, the next function we have now in SIA. So uh, let me go back. Uh, let me go back to the to the presentation. So uh, BIM Cloud update function. It's a it's a, a command that can be run from uh, SIA engineer. Uh, basically, it's the same uh, function as is, for example, the SAF update. Uh, so uh, let's uh, take a look how it works. It's a it's a update command that cooperates with the BIM Cloud. Uh, BIM Cloud is the data storage from the Graphisoft, and uh, the uh, Archicad. Uh, application is, is uh, co have connected with the BIM cloud and s as well as the SIA and uh, it's a cloud storage where the versioning of files can be done. So the update command allows, allows us in SIA to update the structure. So it's uh, used for example and it can be used for example in case that uh, we have uh, the modeler or the architect will create a model in our Archicad and upload it, it uh, for the structural engineer for for you uh, on the BIM cloud. And you uh, download it simply to your uh, analysis software to see an engineer and start uh, doing your your job. So you will add uh, the loads, create combinations, and then you analyze the structure. And uh, be, during your you are doing your job, there can be some changes in the structural model in the architect. So there can be some changes. I had created some dummy changes, so it's clear what's going on. But uh, there can be some extension, new uh, change of cross sections, uh, change of thickness, uh, change of materials, and so on. And uh, this update command uh, will allow you to update your structure without losing the additional data you have already applied. So, uh, for example, in this case, I have extended the roof slab, add a new column, extended the wall, and add a new opening, and did the update. And as you can see, my additional data, like loads and so on, will stay on the, on the place. So I don't need to remodel or start from scratch again. Uh, because of uh, change in structure model in the authoring application, which is in this case the Archicad. So uh, let's start. I have uh, there the Architect 25 open. I will start with uh, this this model. I am now in the Archicad environment and uh, I am looking at the analysis model. I can uh, switch between uh, or I can turn on the structure model. Uh, uh, the analysis model in the Archicad can be created if I am using as a, if, if I am in a workspace of structure engineer. And uh, in this case, I can create the analysis model in a, in a Archicad. The creation of analysis model has its own rules. The objects has to be load bearing. I can set uh, these rules uh, via via uh, this uh, structure analysis model generator rules. I have this, some default ones, and uh, it was sufficient for uh, this case. So I have uh, created this analysis model. I have at the supports in a in a Archicad, but uh, I have. Uh, do not, I uh, did not nothing with the loads because now I am the, or let's say, architect on model, so I don't know how to, and uh, I, I will let uh, handle the loads the structural engineer in analysis software. So uh, I have created the analysis model, and uh, before I will do the export through through BIM Cloud to another application, I will take a look in the SAF interoperability settings. There are SAF translators, and the SAF translators are used for the import and export of the SAF files from Archicad. There are rules for import, and there are rules for export. There, you can you can imagine it as a, a mapping tables between the 
between the architect uh, materials and cross section and between the sub materials and cross section. So uh, it can be done manually or you can download them from uh, the website from the from the graphics soft where are the dedicated mapping tables ready to go for the uh, target applications for example for sia engineer so i have downloaded them and i am using the sia engineer mapping tables for the map uh, for the material and profiles during the export and import you can also set the version of the stuff you want to uh, export uh, the import is uh, on a version 1.05 the export can be changed. I will keep the version 1.05 of SAF because for our structure is, uh, is uh, sufficient. So uh, what is also important is it's export road, road load related data from the Archicad and I will disable it, this function, because I want to handle the, the loads only in my analysis application. If I uh, uncheck this box, then uh, the load data are excluded from the update and uh, they are handled as ignored objects in a, in a sub, sub definition. So I will keep it as it is. And uh, now I, am, I will do the export to the BIM cloud. Export to the BIM cloud. I, I am now in my team or project, CI integration. I can create a folders in there, so I will webinar English and uh, yeah, I will create this one. Oh, maybe I will do some. I will make a prefix so I can easily find it and uh, I will update the model. I will name it analytical models underscore one and I will save it. Now uh, I am going back to the CI engineer and now I will open the project from the BIM cloud. So I am going to open from, uh, I will choose the BIM cloud option and now in the dialog with the login to BIM Cloud appears. See, I remembers my credentials, so I'm directly on my BIM Cloud. I will find the folder that I want to, and I can take a look in the folder. In the folder is one analysis model. This is the one I have exported second ago from the Archicad, so I will import it to uh, my CI engineer. With the open from uh, command, the new project is being run. So I will have there the new .sa project soon. So yeah, it is, it is there. So let's take a look what we have here. So we have here our structure. We have here also the supports. We can adjust them or keep them and uh, I have there no load cases because I didn't export any. So I will create a new load case with a permanent and I will apply some additional data on uh, on our on my slabs and walls that I have here. So I will uh, apply the surface load on 2D and I will uh, simply apply it to the, all the surfaces as I have. So uh, we can then check if these additional data are kept or I can show you that they are kept. So uh, I don't know, this can be some permanent load with the, with the floor finishing and so on. And this can be wind, for example, it's quite too much and should be in a separate load case, but for the purposes of, of the explanation of the function, that's sufficient. So. I have there my structure. I have applied some additional data. I can also create the combinations and uh, do whatever I want, create another load cases and uh, so on. In between, and when I'm doing my job as a structure engineer, there can be done some changes in uh, Archicad. I have prepared uh, this, uh, uh, this model uh, there are some some changes done. If I take a look on what's what's happened in here, the 
top slab was extended, there is one extra column. The side wall is extended accordingly to the slab, and uh, there is one one extra opening in uh, my structure. I have. Uh, I can also check the analysis model that is created automatically by rules defined in a in a Archicad. So I can see this slab was extended uh, wall also, and I have added one extra support under the the new column. So uh, when I have done these changes, I can again export the structure to the BIM cloud. And let me, let know my colleague structure engineer that there were some changes done in the in the structure. First of all, I will again check the interoperability and the soft translators. I have already there the mapping uploaded in the past from the uh, website, so it's uh, in compatibility with SIA engineer. And uh, the export of load related data is turned off, so that's exactly what I want. And now I can export the structure to the BIM cloud. I can simply upload it as a revision to the folder 02 underscore webinars underscore en. So I will select my previously created file and uh, I will hit the save button. Now uh, it's uploading the sub file to the BIM cloud and the sub file is uploaded as a, as a revision. So back to the CI engineer. I have there my structure, and I know that something was changed with the, the with the with the structure model, and I want to include these changes into my analytical model, and I don't want to lose these additional data that I have prepared, like loads, combinations, and so on. I don't want to start from scratch. So I will uh, go to the update from command and I will find the BIM cloud icon. This is the, this is the new command that was added in 21.1. So uh, I, have, I am again logged in into my BIM cloud account. I will find uh, the correct folder and now I can see there are two files available. So I will check the latest revision, which I have uploaded to, from the BIM from the architect and I will use for the update. Uh, C engineer asked me if I want to have a detailed info about what's going on during the update. It's stored in a temp file and uh, it's uh, named update underscore result underscore info dot txt. So uh, in this case, the structure is small. I can handle uh, it uh, with, uh, with a brief review. So I uh, I reject this option and here I have the brief info about the update. So there was uh, some elements created, some elements updated and some elements deleted. Uh, so let's take a look what happened. Uh, there is a one structure cross-section, uh, it is the new column, this cross-section, there is a new Mamdandi member, it is the new column. There is one surface member opening or two, so uh, this one was, so one, one of the openings was handled as new as well, but okay. Uh, structure point support node, yeah, it's a, it's a support for the new column. And the uh, others, other objects first updated the material, surface member, cross-section. Yeah, this is, uh, this, these are the items that I already had in, uh, in my project, so that's uh, correct. The loads was excluded from the update because I uh, don't want to them include into that. It was, uh, it was um, based on my selection during the, during the interoperability setting in, a, in the ARCHICAD. So let's take a look what happened. And uh, now I can see that new column is here with the support as well. The load applied on my objects was extended accordingly. And uh, I don't need to start from scratch and I can simply use the update command which for my, for, from uh, BIM cloud where my colleague 
usually someone who models the structural model uh, will prepare prepare the model or do some do some changes so uh, that's uh, that's basically that's basically all i guess so as we can see the update was done and the structure looks quite the same and the additional data are kept in a in a CI engineer so uh let's go uh let me briefly go back uh, to to representation and uh, that's that's basically it for today what i have prepared for you for the webinar so uh in case you have uh, you have some questions about the SAF, about the idea connection or about the bim cloud uh, update or compatibility with archicad feel free to ask or feel free to contact me and uh, otherwise i will thank you for your attention and uh, i am looking forward to meet you on a, on some of the next webinar so Thank you and uh, have a nice have a nice evening.